Tonight on The Climate Watch, AI and our environment. It's easier than ever to use a tool like Claude or ChatGPT to access artificial intelligence. But as WBZ meteorologist Alyssa Andrews shows us, that AI is actually fueled by computers using real world power. We can create just about anything in a matter of seconds thanks to generative AI. Make a country song about my best friend's wedding. Living out your dream on this starry night. How about pictures of me leading the Red Sox to a World Series? Honestly, close enough, but this time make me look more like Superwoman while I'm winning. Sure, why not? Well, this has been fun, but did you know all of this generative AI stuff actually uses up a ton of energy and environmental resources? But how much damage are we actually doing? I went to the MIT Climate and Sustainability Consortium to find out. Those are much more power intensive. So if you have a, a normal data center, AI data center would be up to 10x more power intensive. It would have more power demand. Think of it this way. One simple web search takes one unit of energy. Doing that same search, but using an AI model instead, takes 10 units of energy. And using AI to generate an image, well, that'll take you up to a thousand units, which leads us to the extra environmental tax. There are also impacts of water usage because these chips that run these models get very hot and you need uh, water to cool them down. How big can one person's impact really be? Can we just relax and use AI? The answer is yes, and for those of you who want it, we basically just got the green light from an expert on the topic, especially if used responsibly. Putting everything on the end user and making them feel guilty is not the right approach. So I don't think that end users should feel completely responsible to do these, to, to, to manage this problem. However, there is a case to be made for judicious use of resources. We could go on for a long time. That was such a great chat with Dr. Bashir. He says that while we can certainly limit our usage of the more powerful AI tools, it's ultimately going to take the companies that are training all these new models to drive that long-term sustainability.